Um, another episode of Fuck a Trap for you. We're going to be comparing um, check nymphing to indicator nymphing. So um, I'm going to start off this morning with it's currently like 8 o'clock. I think so. This morning from like 8 till 1 o'clock, I'll check nymph, go get me a bakery pie as I always do. And then um, after, after I eat that, and then um, I'll fish another section of water and I'll just be indicating that thing and we'll um, see how we get on. I've got a feeling it's going to be pretty hard with it. Rotorua just got devastated with those floods. I don't know if you guys would have seen it, but um, yeah, last weekend it was pretty hectic and it smoked the Nongatai River, so it'll be interesting, but um, I'm confident. So um, yeah, let's crack into it. We'll see how we get on. Fresh one, right? Uh, nice. Look at the beautiful colours on there. Look at that. Oh, it's trying to get away from me. Got a little glue bug. Hook around the corner of the mouth. That's how it should be. Uh, first little bow. Any small, it's a chunk though. It's got some fucking meat on him. Oh, he wants to go. Oh, it's a brown. It's brown. Finally. Got a brown. Oh. Come on, shut it up. Yes. It's only a four poundy, but that's good enough. Got my brown boys. Yes. Yeah, boy. Brown town. Four pounds of brown. I got my brown. <laughs> oh, she was only four pounds, but um, I got it. I've been searching that for like three weeks now. I'm stoked, just got it out of this little run in here. And um, I thought it was actually a rainbow, it's quite light color. But um, I got it. I've had such a horrible morning. It's been so hard. Fishing has just been, I, I just don't know why I can't catch fish. I saw a dude and he had like his limit eight flipping rainbows to his strapped to his chest and he was like, oh, bloody few fish around, eh, mate? I'm just going, mm, yeah, mate. Well, I haven't caught a thing until then. So that's made today worth it. I was actually going to pull the pin and I said, oh, I'll just try on this last pull, but I might carry on. What a way to get me brown. Alright, so I've just finished my morning session, putting the chick nymph away, just going in there, and um, out, it's coming out after I get a Nongatar pipe bakery pie, I'm going to be going 
yeah, I'm gonna get that, and then I'm gonna be indicating that thing. So that should be some good fun. Um, the morning was quite difficult, as I said when I caught that brown. I was flipping gonna give up, throw in the towel, but um, yeah, all of a sudden I found some fish, and I found what they're eating, and they're eating a little orange glow bug, which is disappointing. I've thrown every natural at them. I've thrown pheasant tails, herring coppers, bloody copper johns, bloody worms. They didn't want the worm. They didn't want anything. But I, I'm so reluctant to put on glow bugs, but um, they nailed it. And um, that's why I got my brown trout on, which I'm so stoked. I finally got it. Um, yes, it was only four pound, and yes, it's only small compared to other fish that are in this river but I'm stoked and that's um yeah uh, yeah I'm just I'm just stoked hopefully I can get a big one in the afternoon because they're obviously around um and they're eating glow bugs so oh well I'm gonna go get me a pie so I've got one long tail bakery pie I'm gonna smash this back I'm gonna go set up. I'll show you guys my indicator setup. If you want to see my check nothing setup, go back to um, my last video. I'll put a link down in the description for you guys. But yeah, so keen on this pie. Steak and cheese all the way. Okay, so I'm <clears throat> just gonna show you guys my indicator rig setup. Firstly, I use my I use my Scott Radium. Such a beast. This is my new reel, my lovely wife got me, and my mum bought me the line. Yeah, it was my birthday. But um, anyway, so this reel, I don't know if you can see that very well. There, Lamson Remix. Now, I picked it up, and I instantly needed it. It's so smooth, and um, it's real lightweight, even loaded with um, I've I've got Rio Gold on my um, on my reel that it's loaded up with, so that's just a floating line. You know, screw this bad boy on. These two together look insane. Scott Radian. This is only snapped seven times. So um, yeah, how's that for an advertisement, Scott? Floating line. Again, I use eight pound. Um, Deception, Black Magic Deception, six dollars, seven bucks or something. So I have about oh, nine feet of that, nine feet of that, and then what I do now, we go right to the M, and I add a bomb. Focus, no, no anyway, yeah, just a size 12 4.6 millimeter gold tungsten bead here in copper made out of actual hair like in hair like the rabbit a lot of people use possum and then after that i get about 30 centimeters for the trailer so i make a little loop put it around my finger back through like so and then put that around there and then I pull see so that's like that back on a glow bug just for the trailer now this is probably the most common way to fly fish a lot of these people do it but if you don't know how to hopefully this helps so yeah so you got your bomb here about 30 centimeters you have your, your glow bug or your point your point fly pop the little tail end off my preferred indicator you can get the big loon ones like the massive they're real like they're real good for like the tongue and stuff like that but for smaller rivers like this i use new zealand strike indicators i think they're called and so you got this little tool here and basically, I just get up high, as high as I can. You put this little hook, and then you, there's a little tubing here. You just slide that down. 
and that creates a little loop. Grab a bit of, bit of yarn or indicated yarn like so. Try to make it like that. Put it through the loop there and then you pull tight and that's your indicator. Done. Easy. Now the thing that I find with this is that it sinks real, like it, it doesn't stay afloat. And um, a way that I combat that is, I'll take this off. This is a bit of a top tip from, from your boy. Silicon. Now, you don't need to go buy loons, $150,622, um, whatever, floatant. You just grab this. I think it's like five bucks, minus 10. Done. Works just as well. And it will stay afloat. And then when it starts sinking, you just spray it again. And that goes back in my bag, like that. And then we're done. The good thing I like about these indicators also is they're, they're stealthy and you can slide them up and down the line real easy. It just slips. Yeah, so, so you can adjust the, um, the depth of what you want to fish, which I think is quite important. But anyway, that's the setup. Easy peasy, Japanesey squeezy. Let's go and hopefully catch another brown. That would be sick. So, so far, I've had my ass kicked by two rounds, probably five pound plus. I've dropped the rainbow back there because my wife was on the phone, she called me, and um, it's pretty hard to play a fish with one hand. Uh, well, hopefully I can get one of these browns and hopefully I can get one to stick. There's some bloody good browns up there. Let's see if I can get a few on film, but yeah, see how we're going. Hey, <laughs> cool colour though. It's a nice fat bow, that one. So I'm back at the truck. Um, it was a pretty good afternoon session. Well, I lost three brown trout. Um, one I know definitely was foul hooked, so that's okay. Now they got off, but the other two, they were pretty big fellas. Um, my GoPro crapped out. Well, it didn't crap out, sorry, it, um, the memory card isn't registering or something, so got to sort that out. Yeah, so the comparison to check nymphing, they got four landed fish, um, indicated nymphing two, but I think um, I caught, or I hooked more fish, um, indicated nymphing, I think I hooked about six more that I dropped, and that was due to me just being an idiot and not really playing the fish and just trying to get the fish in as quickly as I can because um, yeah I was a bit annoyed that I lost those as three big brown trout <laughs> but anyway there's heaps of brown trout around and which is good I got my four poundy I'm happy as um, yeah but anyway thanks guys for watching um, if you're new around here make sure you click that subscribe button if you like this video press the like button that'd be great more likes I get the more I see that you guys are interested 
And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. You missed the world today.